But back to the story about why are all but one Canadian members of Parliament uh, refusing to make public details of spending from their office budgets. This was revealed by the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Kevin Gaudet is the federal director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. He's with us on the Roy Green Show on the Cordes Radio Network, as is Liberal Member of Parliament Michelle Simpson from uh, Toronto. She is the one, one of 308 members of Parliament who has made her expenses, her spending, public. Michelle, congratulations for doing that. I wish the other 307 would follow suit. So the most fundamental journalistic question is, why? And then I suppose the follow-up, but I'd need the 307 other MPs here to ask that one. Why not? So let me just ask you why. Well, Roy, uh, you're quite correct. You would have to ask the other 307. And there, there could be valid reasons that they could offer. But I've always viewed this... Um, uh, fundamentally as a right as a taxpayer before I was elected. And I did have as a pillar in my campaign that I would be held accountable for everything that I did within the constituency. So while it's my budget, it's an MP's budget, I always understood it wasn't my money. It belonged to the taxpayers. And I'm accountable to them. The bureaucrats monitor it. But at the end of the day, the accountability is to the Canadian voter. You are probably, no, you are definitely the only member of Parliament I've spoken to in the years I've been doing talk radio. And I've talked to a lot of MPs, prime ministers, uh, premiers, federal ministers, provincial ministers, uh, backbench MPs. You're the only member of Parliament who's ever said... It's not my money. It's not the government's money. It's the taxpayers' money. You're the only person who's ever volunteered that. What does that say? Well, frankly, um, when this story got picked up and it wasn't a press release and it wasn't about getting my name out, uh, the, the press picked it up on my Twitter uh, when we were ready to go live with the numbers. Um, I, I, you know, I was really quite surprised and then saddened by the response because, you know, the emails I received, the voicemails, it, it, what they were all saying was the same thing. You're the only honest politician, which leads me to believe if the flip side of that is that by not doing this, you're deemed to be dishonest, and that was certainly not anything, a, a descriptive word I wanted to be used for myself. No, but I'll tell you this, the other 307 members of Parliament should have a listen to your voicemails read your emails and hear what, what, what I just said. And Kevin, the perception out there becomes, and by, by out there, you and I are both out there because we're not in Parliament, the perception for people becomes reality, and the perception is that politicians play fast and loose and secretively with our money. Well, I, I think in this case perception is reality because there have been way too many examples of politicians at all levels of government uh, having been caught either with their fingers in the cookie jar or giving contracts and cash to friends and family or, as you mentioned, just being fast and loose and wasteful with taxpayer money. That's part of the reason why public trust, I believe, in politics has eroded. I mean, it's, there are many reasons. I think that's one contributing factor. And if politicians wish to have the moral authority to deal with government spending, especially at times when we're talking about borrowed money um, and large deficits at most levels of government, you think that uh, more politicians would follow Ms. Simpson's example to provide themselves with the moral authority to deal with budgets that they're going to need to have to make tough decisions going forward. Exactly. Michelle, what about the other 307 members of Parliament? How many of them have been in touch with you about this? How many of them have indicated that they support you? How many of them have indicated they may follow your lead? And I'm, I, want, I don't want to go partisan here. This isn't about political parties. This is about a decision one member of Parliament made that's the exactly correct decision. Um, frankly, I've, I've been approached by three or four um, MPs. Uh, with respect to how I formatted it, because quite frankly, the the way the government accounting works is uh, quite bizarre, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you no want kidding. To put it in a format that people understand, and I give my husband full credit for that. As a, as a former banker, he worked with my staff so that the numbers all balanced, but at least people would understand where the money was going. 
Well, congratulations on what you've done. Please provide the template for the other 307, not just in the way you're doing it, but give them the, give them the formula, the mathematical and business formula that allows them to provide the expenses because we expect no less, and Kevin, I suspect you will continue to push for this. Uh, it, quickly, the City of Toronto councillors, uh, councillors in the City of Toronto have every single receipt published on the Internet now digitally. And uh, th that, that moving forward, I think, is the model that all politicians ought to follow, where they, they, they go the full, the full distance in providing every scrap of evidence of how they spend the money. And if it can be done in the city of Toronto, of all crazy spending places, then it should be able to be followed elsewhere. Kevin Godet, Federal Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a good weekend. And Mil Michelle Simpson, Liberal Member of Parliament for Toronto, the only Member of Parliament to release her office expenses. Michelle... Um, well done, and please prevail on the rest of your colleagues in the House of the People. I'll certainly try, Roy, and thank you so much for having me on the show. All well, the very best to you. Thank you. Michelle Simpson, Liberal Member of Parliament. Kevin Godet is the Federal Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. This is why I've often said, you cannot afford to be a fan of any political party, okay? You can't. You have to hold everybody accountable. Every, every single Member of Parliament is accountable to the people of Canada primarily to his or her constituents, but then ultimately to the people of Canada. If you're a fan of a political party, you're probably going to say, ah, she's a liberal. And you may dismiss her for what she's done, because you're not a fan of the liberals. You can't afford to be a fan of any political party. Just hold them all accountable. What Ms. Simpson uh, has done is exactly the responsible and correct thing.